institutions and who is working on Islamic education. And to tell you the truth, also this manual on Islamic education within Europe it is of great help also for the training of uh, Islamic educators, educators, even in Greece, because they understand the multiplicity and uh, the diversity that exists within the European countries. And they, they can also understand how difficult the process is and how much they have to be involved in this process, in, a, in not only in a way that to, to, feel in the margins and to wait to, to be in the center, but to, to, to find ways to fill the gap all together, because there are many gaps and different gaps, as, as we realize, within the different uh, national contexts. I will speak about Greece. Greece is on the margins of Europe, uh, but is on the center, let's say, of this uh, when we speak about philosophy and democracy, etc. But democracy is also something that we are still looking, and especially now that our societies are changing quickly, and we have also the refugees and the migrant crisis, and Greece is one of the southern Europe uh, countries that we face a lot of problems, and we are not very proud also of the situation that the refugees, and, and especially the education of refugees, uh, is handled within the camps, uh, the refugees camps. So Greece is a country which has, on the one hand, a secular character, but on the other hand, main, maintains traditional time-honored relations between church and state. Orthodox Christianity has always played an important part in the cultural identity of Greek citizens, even since the foundation of the new Greek state, and was allied with religion. For this reason, Orthodox Christianity has been understood as a key factor in stimulating the Greek Revolution, thereby fascinating liberation from the Ottoman Empire and by extension from Islam. And today is the national day for Greece, the 25th of March. So, and but the one beautiful image is that we see uh, Choyas dressed in the. the and they are boys coming from Africa, from Nigeria, and from different countries. And uh, this, is, this shows the diversity that exists now within the Greek society, but, but also the, the difficulties that the Greeks, they face, how to accommodate this diversity, and how education help, can help to accommodate this diversity. According to the Greek constitution, the Eastern Orthodox Church is the prevailing religion in Greece, and this prevailing character is visible in several symbolic aspects. And every, symbols are well accepted within the Greek schools. And this also creates some problems, especially for people that are coming from a secular, uh, let's say, environment. But doesn't pose any problem with the, the, uh, the, the wording of the veil, because people are used to, to show their, their faith and uh, we didn't have the debates that you have in other European countries uh, to, to allow or not to allow the veil. It's something that is respected. So, according to the Greek constitution, religious education is provided by the state with the general aim being determined by the free cultivation of religious conscience. Uh, and um, the Hellenic Ministry of Education and Religious Affairs is responsible from the framework and in the content of religious education and religious education teacher training, as well as the appointment of teachers, which is exclusively under the jurisdiction of the state. Religious education in Greek state schools is taught for a period of 10 years for one or two hours weekly, depending on the school level. It's a compulsory subject with the possibility of, of opting out, but this possibility is used only by a small number of students, let's say 0.5 to 1% during last years, the last years from 2017 until 2000, uh, 2020. In state schools, there is no other type of religious education organized for those who opt out with the exception of the region of Western Thrace, where Islamic religious education 
currently in the form of Islamic religious instruction is also organized. The church only has the right according to the law 590 of 1977 to check the dogmatic content of the primary and secondary education textbooks of Greek religious education. Although the church in many cases has intervened in and pursued the state and uh, to take the area under its own control. It should be mentioned that the current curriculum uh, of the Greek uh, religious education has been in force since 2017 and 2000. I'm sorry, 19. And uh, after an appeal to the Greek court and mainly to the administrative high, uh, high court, uh, the new curricula of studies that they, for the first time for the Greek reality, they were open curricula of studies. That means they were based on the Christian faith, Orthodox Christian faith, but not in a denominational way, but and open also to other uh, religious um, uh, communities and to other religions. And from the grade of, uh, of the beginning of the primary school, the, the people they were able to understand and to learn about the religion of other uh, Pupil, here, for example, you can say what it was inside the, the curricula. This this program that has functioned for two years, and they were curricula of studies and a document, not a textbook really, but documentation about Orthodox Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, and Hinduism, uh, doesn't exist anymore. And why? Because a bishop of the Greek church and some, uh, a few Christian families, and also the group of atheists, and for completely different reasons, they went to the uh, High Court of Greece, and the High Court, for the first time in the Greek history, has decided that the lesson of religion has to be denominational, and has even decided the way that the lesson has to be denominational that this is a paradox and absurd for the, not only for the Greek uh, educational system, but I think for all European educational systems to, to, to tell you the court in which way are you going to teach your denominational lesson. And also this, we open up the door to other uh, communities and we will see within the years to come in Greece, what you are facing in the Western European countries. So I think for us, it's a step back than a step in, uh, forward, uh, because we will try, but probably this is also pedagogical from a sense, sense because we will be obliged to realize and to speak with the other communities. And now the other communities, they grow up. So we have, the community of uh, Muslims, the let's uh, the so-called old Islam uh, in the region of Western Thrace, where there are the minority schools, the madrasas, religious schools, and the public schools, and within these three different kinds of schools, religious education is taught, Islamic religious education, but in, with different curricula, different distraction of teachers, and within different linguistic also framework. In the minority schools and the madrasas, uh, the uh, Islamic array, Islamic array instruction mainly is taught in Turkish and for uh, historic reasons. And in the public schools since 2003, only for the region of Western Thrace, it was introduced the Islamic religious education course and in Greek. And this has opened to us, to us, to Eolu, how we say this, the uh, Eolos uh, wins. Mm -hmm. yeah? uh, because we realized that our Muslims, that they are from different national also backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, let's say, and the majority of them, they speak, they are very well uh, in Turkish, 
a language uh, they speak very good in Turkish, they couldn't, they were, they were not able to say a word about the religion in Greek. And this was, we realized also, like this thing, even in the website, when people are looking to see and to find information, appropriate information about Islam, we don't see information coming from the Western phrase and from the Mufti Yad in Greek language. Everything is in Turkish, so the, the rest of the people, they cannot understand. But we have also information coming to Islam from Greeks, from people living in Athens, that they are all converted to Islam, or they are a second generation of Muslims, mainly converted to Islam, that, that they are information, excellent information given into Greek, but it's mainly from only from a Salafi background. And Muslims, indigenous Muslims on Thrace are the Hanfi school of law. And sometimes they are condemned from the Salafis that they don't follow the appropriate Islam and they don't know even how to reply. So, thanks to this initiative in 2013, that it was made, I think, for mainly also for political reasons, uh, the need also to have an education and training on uh, Muslims educators for uh, Islamic and religious education only in the region of Thrace uh, was upper. So the School of Theology and was the only uh, school in, uh, in Thessaloniki we had uh, in Greece how many? We have two faculties with four schools of theology, one faculty in Athens and one faculty in Thessaloniki with two schools of theology. We are denominational and we are not denominational at the same time. For example, I teach in the School of Theology at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, but I, I teach the study of religions and I don't feel that I'm denominational at all. And I made my studies in, in Greece after in France with a Catholics after I went in Pisae also with the White Fathers and after I was in Jordan and after I was in Iran and after I was in Oman. So I mean, I have a completely different uh, spectrum toward religion that it was built also thanks to, to my mo mobility and it's what we are trying to do also with our students. So we were the only one to take the, the challenge to create a postgraduate uh, uh, program on Islamic studies with a lot of difficulties. And the main, difficulty, the main reason why this program has succeeded it is because we believed on this and because we didn't take a euro. <laughs> we made it by ourselves. Listening to you these days about the money and the distribution, I, I realized that we are likely not to have money for this program. Otherwise, the conflict will be even better, bigger. But now we need money to continue because we are six years. Uh, we have the first uh, students coming out, and they are Muslims and non-Muslims and converted to Islam and secular completely. So they are mixed class. Until now, we have three in six years, 364 students. Around 80 per 80 of them are uh, graduated. And 35 or 40, uh, 40, I think, uh, within this year are from the Muslim uh, community of Western Greece. And we have also around five or six people that have students that they are converted to Islam. And also other children, other, other students that they are coming from mixed marriages and from neighboring countries that they are living or they are born in uh, Greece, from Albania, from uh, Kosovo, and that they are interested to learn more about Islam. So, um, we had a lot of difficulties to create this program, uh, and the difficulties came from two different factors and actors. The one it was the Church of Greece, not the official Church of Greece, but the uh, metropolis of uh, Thessaloniki, that they felt that uh, to teach about Islam is like to teach about the uh, to welcome the Turkish nation within your house. You <laughs> laugh, but for Greek reality is difficult. And the second one, it was from the, the, the 
Muslims, different uh, Muslim centers, let's say, uh, because they wanted to have the control over the, the religious educations of the imams. But this was not an imam religious education. And we, we were clear and honest to say this from the beginning that this is an academic training on education about Islam. Uh, we welcome also professors that they come from short time or from Alaska or Muslims that they work, they are in the region of Western Thrace. They are Greek citizens and they make, the, let's say, the core Quran, Tafsir, uh, uh, Fiqh and um, uh, yes, th th these are the main courses. But it's embodied also with uh, Islamic history that doesn't stop in the fourth great caliphs because with uh, the Islamic religious education, the Islamic history for the majority of the Muslim peoples, even in the upper grades, the, the Islamic history stops 632. They don't know what is going on after. So by discussing all this with people that they are coming from the madrasas and the, even the minority schools and they are teaching now Islam and for example I teach them the, uh, uh, this is my field I teach them Kalam and um, the, the Islamic trends of thought uh, within the formative period of Islam and that means the conflict in the different schools before the four uh, madhabs so they, they, they became shocked and at the beginning they don't believe a word. So they go back and they ask their imams, even friends in Turkish university. Mm -hmm. Islamic history is so diverse. There were so many conflicts within the Islamic history since the beginning of uh, and after the death of the prophet, etc. And after they come, and after they are open to learn, and we are open to learn from them, from there. And this is the challenge also. When you teach in a mixed class that are Muslims, non-Muslims, Christians too, Christians too, you have to find a new way, a new way, the new vocabulary, but without a la cachette, <laughs> with all reality that you can bring as a person and also with the, uh, uh, with the uh, help of science. First of all, you have to change the way that you're speaking about yourself and about the other. It's not the other anymore, it's a part of your class. And uh, secondly, you have to find ways to motivate them to think and to, to, to understand their prejudices, that they are already a lot of prejudices in the age of 20 years so due to the national background, every national background of education. And to start collaborating, co-working. And what we have tried to do now in the, in the region of Western Thrace, uh, and thanks to this training and also thanks to this uh, postgraduate program, is to put the um, teachers of religion of ERA in general and in Islamic religious education to co-work also at least once uh, per semester and in, in easy themes, for example, to, to, to have the Muslim instructor to go to the class of the, the rest of the people and to, to, to invite them to go to the mosque. There are many mosques in the, West, in the region of Western Thrace, m more than 300 official mosques and masjids. And to do the same, to invite the, the, the Christian, let's say, teacher to go to his room and speak about church and to invite them to the churches. But be careful. For the majority, it's easy to go to the, to the mosque. For the minority, it's very difficult to go to the church because you have the political rumors that they want to change you. They want to, 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 to infiltrate you with the Christian values. And these were the polemics that we faced by when we were doing the, for the first time the introducing for the first time the uh, postgraduate the graduate program the yes the undergraduate program on Islamic studies. A lot of the imams uh, that were not friendly. They used to say the men, the Muslims, that they will go to the faculty of theology in Thessaloniki. They will soon be without sunnet. I hope you understand. That means without circumcision. Mm -hmm. 
so it's not so polite. But um, and yes, we were laughing, and now things are going better. But we do need help, and I don't know how things they will go. To tell you honestly, because the situation in Greece changes quickly, and uh, due to the impoverishment of the country in the last 12 years, the huge uh, mountain of um, amount of uh, refugees and um, migrants. The political change after 2019 with the decision, this is a completely mm -hmm. political decision, not to put the refugees, the children within the for formal education, but to, to offer them a formal education within the camps. Uh, with the diversity, now, let's say, the Muslims of Western Thrace are one, uh, 0.5 or 1 percent of the total population. Greece, we are more or less 11 million, it's like Belgium. And uh, sorry, could you conclude in one minute? Yes, please. please. I'm running out of time. And, <laughs> yes, I will. And the the Muslims migrants are four to five or six percent, and they are coming from different backgrounds. So they are Pakistanis, they are Iranis, they are Iraqis, they are Nigerians, as, as you face in your own country. And so for them there is no NRA. The majority of them, they when they go to schools, their, their children, they go to the classes of religion. The majority of the people that they, 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 they don't want to, to take the religious course are Greek citizens and Orthodox or secular that they don't want to be taught. And we will see. So the challenges and the situation is open. And since Greece is one of the gates to Europe, uh, we, have, we have to see the situation in a deeper and in a more appropriate way. Because especially with the children, if these children, they live for a long time within the camps, that means in the margins, they will be marginalized for the rest of their, life, their lives. And at least education is the most easy, unexpensive, unexpensive and probably the best tool to, to find ways to accommodate them and for the, the future of all of us. Thank you very much. I wanted to tell you other things, uh, but you can read the, the chapter is here yes. and is written with my colleague uh, that he's an expert on, uh, is, uh, on uh, pedagogics, uh, Marius Kukunaras Liangis, that you, you already know them, uh, the ladies especially, and I thank you very much.